Jerome Price. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are new. Also, don't forget to like us on Facebook at the community name, The Watchman for Christ. Today, I want to answer a question that I was requested to answer. Is smoking marijuana a sin? What? You know marijuana. Mary Jane. Wacky tobacky. Weed. Dro. Whatever name you want to call it. Is smoking marijuana a sin? Well, let's first define what marijuana actually is. According to Merriam-Webster's Dictionary, marijuana is described as hemp, the dried leaves and flowering tops of the pistillate hemp plant that yield THC and are smoked in cigarettes for their intoxicating effect. Now, I want to harp on that word intoxicating. What is intoxicating me? Affected by alcohol or drugs, especially to the point where physical and mental control is markedly diminished, especially. So, if you are intoxicated by marijuana, you have little to no physical or mental control of your actions. Is marijuana a sin? Well, what does the Bible say? If we turn to 1 Peter chapter 5 and verse 8, we read that it says to be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, walketh around like what? A, a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. First Peter chapter 5 and verse 8. How can you be vigilant and sober when you can't control your mental actions. Is marijuana a sin? I ask again. Not to mention, if we look at the book of Proverbs chapter 4, verse 23, it says, Keep thy heart, speaking of thy mind, keep thy heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. So how can I keep or guard my heart or my mind if I'm intoxicated and I cannot control my mental actions. Well, let's step away from the scripture and let's actually look at what the medical world has to say about marijuana. The medical world says Speaking of WebMD, which is like uh, the number one source on the internet for people to search for health and medical references. WebMD says that smoking pot can increase your heart rate by as much as two times for up to three hours. That's why some people have a heart attack right after they use marijuana. can increase bleeding, lower blood pressure, and affect your blood sugar too. It says we don't know yet if marijuana is linked to higher odds of getting lung cancer, but the process does irritate your lungs, which is why regular pot smokers are more likely to have an ongoing cough and to have lung-related health problems like chest colds and lung infections. 
Other physical effects of marijuana include dizziness, shallow breathing, red eyes and dilated pupils, dry mouth, increased appetite, slowed reaction time if you drive after smoking or using marijuana, your risk of being in a car accident more than doubles. Changes to mind and mood. Hmm. This is supposed to be the benefit that a lot of people speak of. It says it makes them feel happy, relaxed, or detached from reality. Unbelievable! However, this is the negative effect after the short-term benefits. Smoking pot can also have less pleasant effects on your mind and mood, too. You may have a distorted sense of time, random thinking, paranoia, anxiety, depression, short-term forgetfulness. And the list actually keeps going and keeps going and keeps Wait a minute! Keeps going. So... What does the Bible have to say about this? Because this, this, we have to think about what the medical profession is saying, that this, it can cause heart attacks, it can cause you to increase bleeding, affect your blood sugar, and lower your blood pressure, and it may be linked to lung cancer. These are things that destroy your body, that can cause your body to end up being decrepit and shortening your life. Seriously? A heart attack can kill you. What does the Bible have to say about things of this nature? Well, first and foremost, in 3 John chapter 2, and verse 2, God says, Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health even as our soul prospers, God desires for us to be in health, in good physical condition, so that we may be able to live a long and prosperous life, serving him and serving others and doing his will. You can't do that when you're having heart attacks. You can't do that when your blood pressure is dropping or you're starting to have excessive bleeding and you're dizzy and you're living in an altered state of reality having short-term memory loss. You can't do that. The Bible goes on to say in Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15, but it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake ye. God promised his people that if they did his will, if they lived according to the way that he asked, if they abided in his word and kept his law, that all the things that happened to the wicked, the sickness, the death, the shortness of life, wouldn't be things and plagues and, and famines wouldn't befall the people of God if they followed his way, which is including taking care of themselves. Proverbs chapter 26, verse 2 says, As the bird by wandering, as the swallow by flying, so the curse, spoken of in Deuteronomy 28, 15, causeless shall not come. That means that a lot of the things that actually happen to us, a lot of the sickness and the illness and the diseases that we get, they come because we violate God's law. So the illness and the sickness and the diseases that we get, they didn't just come for no reason. We were doing things. We were doing things we had no business doing. Is smoking marijuana a sin again, I ask? Exodus chapter 20 verse 13 says that thou shall not kill. In the original language, it's actually interpreted thou shall not murder because killing someone is actually accidental. It doesn't mean that you intended to take their life. Murdering, on the other hand, does. When a person smokes, you are killing yourself. You are taking your body into a slow death. Some people actually die faster. Some people takes a little bit longer to die. 
Either way, they're, they're destroying their body. And what does it say in 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 17? If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. For the temple of God is holy, which temple ye are. So I ask you again, is smoking marijuana a sin? I'll leave you with this. Anything that destroys any part of your body. Anything that has no true overall health benefit to keep you alive so that you can serve God with all of your being and all of your essence of who you are is destroying you. And 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 17 explains to you if something is destroying you and you are doing it, you are destroying the temple of God, which you are. God will destroy you. Is smoking marijuana a sin? I think we have enough information to make that determination on our own. This is your host, Following Christ. Whether you like this or not, truth always stays true. Truth is stranger than fiction, my friends. It's time.